it is one of the great Formula One Grand Prix of the entire year. Over 400,000 Australian fans here across the weekend. The roar of the crowd means one thing. It's race day in Melbourne. It's a relatively new look at Albert Park after its 2022 redevelopment. Turns 1, 3, 6 and 13 are all wider than they once were. We have thrown turns 9 and 10 into the bin. We do still have three DRS zones that will give our drivers that opportunity to overtake. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. It's Sergio Perez on pole today and the scientist completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Ocon, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Hamilton, Russell, Teo Porcher, Joe, Bottas, Norris, Magnussen, Albert, Gasly, Verstappen, Sargent, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, De Vries, and Jack Doohan. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And we welcome Natalie Pinkham to the... Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
prepared to set the fastest lap of the race so far. Another superb Australian Grand Prix comes to an end then, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? I feel consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own, and that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. So let's have a look then at the driver's standings. Carlos Sainz extends his lead at the top, getting ever closer to securing the championship. Let's focus on driver of the day, Natalie Finkham. Come on, who do you pick? Carlos Sainz would be my first choice for this race. He had excellent race stamina, giving him the opportunity to charge through the ranks. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well. That certainly was an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon.